Welcome back to the Walking Dead Season 2. All my awesome viewers, it is finally here, Episode 3, In Harm's Way. Alright, a little recap before we get into Episode 3. Last last one, last episode, Episode 2. Go check it out, I've done Episode 1 and 2. Episode 2, big shocker. Kenny is alive. And then we got captured by Carver, the guy who's been sort of hunting us down all the way across the county. Now we are in this camp of horrors. That lady looks like she's dying. Clementine looks like she's scared. So let's start this off. Hit like and thank you so much for returning. Let's go. Previously on The Walking Dead. I still love how they use Leavard's voices on Think Previously on The Walking Dead. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home. As a family. Dun dun dun. Carver, you son of a gun. He killed like three of our friends. I can't, I hope. I could just stab him in the, to death in, at night when he's sleeping. Be like, haha, I'm the killer of Tooth Fairy. I guess this is what kids do in the zombie apocalypse. Just stare at trees. Oh, stare at butterflies. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. Come out all right, girls. Troy, get them tied up. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. You're yelling it like right in my face. That. Where's your manners? I'm just gonna stare at you. <laughs> Menacing stare. No, stop! Don't hit my friend! You don't wanna test me, girl. I'll pass every time. That's Leave okay. Leave her alone! Because every time you hit me, it's just gonna be another reason for me to kill you even more. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. Uh, it's a hard not life for me. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! In Harm's Way, Episode 3. Are 
Are they doing that on purpose so we don't find our way back? Just stopping and then... Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp, anything that can help. But fucking, I don't know, anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Slow that. Slow down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking what? about? He wants to punish us. You could have warned us. Yeah, you didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch Found of a fucking dogs. Sharp edge. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that <laughs> what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Oh yeah, Luke is gone. He kind of ran off. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. Luke will help us. Oh yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Calm down, dude. Hey, look, Clem. That's something you always need to get a hold of, Kenny, is your anger and your temper. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. <laughs> I'll try not to hurt hey, Kenny, Clint, myself hurt. Look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. Yeah, okay, I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? He got I knocked so. out. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Maybe they could hear us the whole time when they were driving. Pretty sure those truck walls aren't too thick. If I was Carver, I would watch my back every freaking minute of every day. It makes a lot of enemies. And when you make a lot of enemies, it's not a good thing. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at them. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. Uh, maybe when I... We've got some familiar faces <laughs> maybe when I cut them tonight. off? Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. 
take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger. This is a high school? Trail, Looks like a gym. And they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we we'll need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Turn our way. It's nothing we can't handle. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. Not up for debate. The expansion project. Or... Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see no if you're messing enough. with it. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all. Jeez, Carver, just please. <laughs> so that I get it. Write a book or something. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! He I'm doesn't so have an arm. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That sucks. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie nice helped us you, but when we ran away. So I know. I feel the same way. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell. And everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. Oh man, I would have went back, outside. man. If it, I would have went back, Reggie. Snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? I mean, Carver... Hey, Reg. Uh, he's oh. a psycho. Hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. I would say thanks, and of course, if someone had an AK-47, it's almost pointing at my face. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. <laughs> freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. What a jerk. What a jerk. Clementine, please. You haven't even met him yet. Oh, she's not wrong. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but <laughs> like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, Wait so a second. I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? 
Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around. I love this the guy. Camp, He's pretty funny. <laughs> and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? Oh, dude. At least until you yes. release me. Then, I will. once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. Okay, sure. Uh, thank you. It means a lot. She don't speak for all of us. No, oh, come but on, if she Denny. doesn't want to cause trouble, she doesn't have to. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. Oh, come on. Trust I like him. He's cool. I, I like I mean, Reggie. Clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. <laughs> we gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Oh, gamers, gamers, gamers here. Yeah. Kenny just sometimes. Walker he just sometimes. Up on you, huh? yep, he sometimes doesn't expect. know when to quit. He really doesn't, and he thinks it's for the best. And that's his downfall. That's what made his downfall in the first game. He got a second chance at life. And now he's alive and he's still doing the same things. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think I'm right. But I like Reggie. He is a guy who's just trying to survive in the situation that he's in. And Carver, this place, it sounds secure as hell. It really does. It sounds, they have food. They're freaking electricity. Come on. And greenhouses, this to me would be the jackpot. I would love to live here. But he is a psychopath. So we would have to get rid of Carver. And then elect a new, like someone new. Maybe like Reggie, I don't know. But that's all I have to say for that. Let me know in the comments if you guys think the same. Would you stay in a place like this? Would you stay in a place like this, but with a guy like Carver in charge? But would you do something to change that? Would you kill him? Would you banish him? I don't know. Let me know. Alright gamers, thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more gameplay videos. And The Walking Dead Season 2 as I upload them. And I'll see you all next time. But until then... Peace.